Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Priceless NFL players are threatening to sit out the entire season after what Commissioner just said. This would really be great if it's true. Everyone's favorite fake African American is now saying NFL players have told him they are considering sitting out the entire 2018 NFL season if two players who played with the San Francisco 49ers, Eric Reed and Colin Kaepernick, weren't allowed back into the league. Which is a really odd considering Kaepernick wasn't signed through all of the 2017 season and the band played on. Now keep in mind that a few years back NFL owners locked out players over them thinking they weren't making enough millions and all they did was take to the airwaves to whine about how they were going to pay their bills. So it's very doubtful these players, many who don't even know how to read or write proper English, would pull a stunt like this and decide to forfeit their million dollar paychecks in an effort of solidarity for a player who was benched because he became a lazy bum who wouldn't follow the coach's instructions. Plus I am pretty sure there are many players who didn't get picked by the NFL who would love to take their places and play ball to a cheering crowd while they keep their politics to themselves. And if I'm wrong, it will just spell the end of the NFL, which isn't a bad thing either, considering this is one of the vessels the swamp has to keep the American public occupied and stupid so they can do as they wish without much pushback. The best part about these empty threats is NFL players really are clueless as to the fact they are replaceable. It doesn't take a freaking genius to toss around a ball and 95% of the players aren't all that gifted. So they better be careful with this one, it might end up backfiring badly and they might end up having to live normal lives like the rest of us. Here is more on the NFL's new national anthem policy via USA Today. Amid repeated protests during the playing of the national anthem over the past two seasons, the NFL on Wednesday passed a revised policy that mandates players and team personnel present on the sideline shall stand and show respect for the flag and the anthem. The revision allows players who would not wish to stand to remain in the locker room. Also under the revision, each franchise will have the power to issue their own policies, which could include fines for players protesting the anthem, under the conduct detrimental provision of the league's personal conduct policy. The league also now has the power to fine any franchise that has representatives who do not stand or show respect while present on the sideline for the anthem. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said the agreement was reached unanimously by owners at the league meeting in Atlanta, but Jed York of the 49ers said his team abstained. We want people to be respectful to the national anthem, Goodell said in a news conference. We want people to stand. That's all personnel, and make sure they treat this moment in a respectful fashion. That's something we think we owe. We have been very sensitive in making sure we give players choices, but we do believe that that moment is important and one we are going to focus on. Several players last season followed in the footsteps of former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who in the previous year chose to kneel during the national anthem as a form of protest against police brutality and racial inequality. By the start of the 2017 season, there were only a handful of protests during the anthem. Then, in a September rally. President Trump referred to a player who protested social injustice by kneeling during the national anthem as son of a, expletive. Many teams and players responded by participating in demonstrations that featured kneeling or standing with arms locked. It was unfortunate that on-field protests created a false perception among many that thousands of NFL players were unpatriotic, Goodell said in a written statement that announced the revision. This is not and was never the case. The NFL Players Association has already taken issue with the policy, which was reached without the union present. The NFL chose to not consult the union in the development of this new policy, the NFLPA said in a statement. NFL players have shown their patriotism through their social activism, their community service, in support of our military and law enforcement and yes, through their protests to raise awareness about the issues they care about. The vote by NFL club CEOs today contradicts the statements made to our player leadership by Commissioner Roger Goodell and the chairman of the NFL's management council John Morrow about the principles, values and patriotism of our league. Our union will review the new policy and challenge any aspect of it that is inconsistent with the collective bargaining agreement. The 32 member clubs of the National Football League have reaffirmed their strong commitment to work alongside our players to strengthen our communities and advance social justice. The unique platform that we have created is unprecedented in its scope, and will provide extraordinary resources and supportive programs to promote positive social change in our communities. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.